Alex Pinto, uh, but he's uh, much more skilled in making insurance uh, for foreigners and many other aspects of uh, traveling to Ukraine, taking into account our corona, corona time in the world. So uh, mostly he will be speaking today and as usually um, ask your questions if you have them, don't hesitate to write and uh, we will discuss. Uh, one second, I will, uh, will um, check some technical issue. Uh, if you see me. Mm -hmm. So I see we went uh, live. Uh, you should uh, see us already. And we wait for your questions. I had actually, I had um, several people telling me um, in personal messages that they are going to be to here today with us. Uh huh. So yeah, here is there is Solomon writing us. Do you see Alex? Yes, I don't see the name. I see. Hello, Elena and Alex. Yeah. Oh yes, I see. I was mm -hmm. trying to read the name. So Hello, you both. You uh, uh huh. So we both see what uh, the uh, people write. It's good. Uh, uh, so I can, uh, win some time. Mm -hmm. but, uh, what can we explain? There are several rules that now are going on, and I save for your live stream today some very good news that I have yesterday and this morning again. So, COVID 19 and this that keep us apart from our beloved uh, matters that we really want to come. If we want to come, we find the way. I have clients that pick up six flights to arrive here, but they arrive. Uh -huh. so You're from the US? Sorry? From the US and from the US also? Yes. The, the main, there are two main problems. To enter Ukraine is not the bigger problem. The bigger problem is the American companies that are canceling flights just like that. Mm -hmm. Once you arrive Europe is not also the big deal. The question that Europe closed the doors, it, it closed the doors for people to enter the country, not to stay in transit. People that go in transit, they can stay in the airports. Some of them, I have reports that even those cases that they need to go out, check out, pass the passport control, then pick up the luggage, then go again to the other place. This is already international area. They pick up the luggage and they go and check in. And, they facilitate it. I have people that have this situation and they will pass. Mm -hmm. So to say that arriving in Ukraine is the final cut of this <laughs> odyssey that is to come to Ukraine, but it is easy. It matters two main things. One is to have the app on the phone, and I will explain how. And the second is to have this insurance that has to be an insurance made by a Ukrainian company or a Ukrainian company that have association with a foreigner company. If it's not on this, they will not accept. There mm -hmm. are several episodes about entering Ukraine that I understand that everybody says that our border control is really being nice and sympathetic, and they are trying to facilitate everybody. So when people come from a green country, they are not obliged to have this app. They are obliged to have the insurance. The insurance is obliged is obligatory for everybody. If people come from the red country, then yes, they need to make the download of the app. When we arrive at the airport, there are information everywhere, but it is in Ukrainian, unfortunately. So we foreigners cannot read nothing about that. But there are the police officers, men and women, that are helping the travelers to download the app on the phone. And those that do not have a SIM card, I know by testimony of many people, they even are offering SIM cards from several of our providers. They give SIM cards with unlimited internet for the next month. So time enough for the 14 days that uh, we are obliged to be in self-isolation. The app will not be activated on that moment. 
it matters to show to the border control officer, the one that puts the stamps, he will ask you your passport, he will ask you the insurance, he will make a picture of that insurance, and he will ask you to show the phone. And it's so kind of funny, is you have the app, you open the phone, he sees that you have the app, he make a picture, he confirmed that the address in the app is the same in the insurance. So this is the address where you will stay in Ukraine. Mm -hmm. And uh, in the case of the phone number, obviously at that moment, because we came without the SIM card, we don't have a phone or we don't have a number, sorry. But mm -hmm. maybe we have a friend that bought a SIM card for us and said, you will use this number. So when you go out, when you arrive your destination, you have someone waiting for you, a friend, a girlfriend, a fiancé, whoever, to give you that SIM card. And that SIM card, you will put it inside your phone. And then, yes, you can activate the app mm -hmm. because you have 24 hours to activate the app. So it gives you time to get out from the airport and go to your destination. Then you put the app to run and the app every day will tell you how many days I'm missing to finish the self-isolation. During this period, the app will ask three, four or five times a day, send you a notification. Be careful because it doesn't make plings. There's no big sounds about this notification. It's needed to be attended to the phone. And when comes this notification, you have 15 minutes to make a selfie using the app and send it back. Because you made the picture before at the passport control that is inside the app. And they, the system will identify if the selfie match with the picture that you made and you have in the app. If the system identifies like a face uh, identification like Facebook has, okay? If the app succeeds, all is okay. If the app doesn't succeed, ask you again and again till it matches. Mm -hmm. uh, there are laws about this, so it's better if you really have the app activated and running, do not fail doing this. So I strongly advise that you have some freedom, kind of never move far from your geolocation, the address that you gave where you're going to live, never go too far. Go far enough that allows you to, in 15 minutes, come back to that address to make that picture, okay? Because if not, if the system fails the 15 minutes, it will automatically generate a message to the local police and the police may call you to that number or may appear at the address. If they... Uh, so I don't know, uh, in these circumstances, it's possible to meet you. So when yeah. should... Uh, so, uh, for example, when I came here to meet you, to meet uh, future wife, and in these circumstances, how he should plan every minutes near his house, or, or how yeah. they do it? At the end, I think we will have solution. I'm trying to uh, give the example of the worst case scenario, okay? Mm -hmm. So this is for the person that will fulfill the 14 days on this, that there are solutions not to pass through this already, okay? I'm just trying to explain that if you go on this and you don't go make any tests, you need to fulfill the 14 days. Mm. And if this happens, you cannot really get out from your area. If you are in the hotel, you have meetings at the lobby, you go to a restaurant that is there closed. Well, that's interesting that travel to your brain. So, <laughs> this is the worst part that doesn't make it fun. The mm -hmm. good part is that you can go make tests, COVID-19, you make the PCR test. Mm -hmm. The PCR test, uh, there are clinics in Odessa, in Lviv, in Kiev, in Kharkov, that are legalized to do this, and they will inform the central database of the Ministry of Health so mm -hmm. as soon as the result is uploaded to the system, you receive a message on the phone that you are free from the app. You don't need to use it anymore. Okay? So the good news is, bad news for Odessa, <laughs> good news for Kiev. Kiev started to make tests 
COVID-19, so the PCR test in the airport. So when people arrive, they can go to the third floor. It's uh, the departures uh, level. And there they are making tests for COVID-19 and they immediately send the results to the central database of the Ministry of Health. So they will send you an email to your inbox with a negative result, we hope, and they will send the same information to the central database. So in 24 hours, maybe 36, you are free from there. This is paid. It costs uh, 78 euros, I think. It's 2,100 grivnas. Mm -hmm. And there's no way to book it before. You just arrive, put the app on your phone, pass the control, go to the third floor, ask you want you want to make a PCR test. They make you the test there. It doesn't take long. And then you are free to go to your destination in 24 hours, 36 you are out from that and you can go everywhere in Ukraine where you want to. Okay, these are the good news. But in Odessa it is not happening in Lviv or Kharkov because this was the initiative from the Ukrainian Airlines president. So they had this mini lab in Borispol because they were testing and they are still testing all the crew. And to facilitate things, they started to do to all the travelers that arrive and ask for it. Okay. Um, what if uh, you uh, uh, in that the wolf some private lab here in the or it doesn't goes to, exactly that is a good question because it's uh, I can give you that list for you to share with your people. I personally called to all the hospitals in Ukraine in the main cities that I and I is not the price. First is they are certified certified by the Minister of Health to make the test. And the main thing is they need to have the ability to send the result to the Ministry of Health. So if, for example, any of us go to make a test on any private clinic or state clinic, okay, they are all different prices and conditions. But the clinics take two to three days to give the result. And you have mm -hmm. to ask them, request explicit, I need this result to be uploaded to the Ministry of Health database. If you don't ask, they don't do it. So they will give you a certificate very fancy in English and in Ukrainian but then you don't know what to do with it, where to go. Because to delete you from the app, it's an internal information that goes from the lab to the Ministry of Health. So if, for example, a person is positive, by law, they have to inform immediately because that responsibility passed to the state and that person needs to be in self-isolation on the state clinic. <laughs> I hope nobody goes because it's really bad. But mm -hmm. uh, in all the good case, you have a negative test. They will send it to the central database. And then in four days, you are free, maybe five. Some people are saying so, uh, three days, some people are saying four. Uh, during these four days, the person should use this application, correct? During these four days, you need to fulfill the mandatory things that the application is given. Mm -hmm. okay. I Please. Uh, did you have any clients coming to, uh, to Ukraine during this time and how the, their experience can you share? Because my clients are all on, on pause now. So they, this who should come in, in the in spring and summer, they are going to come later. I have people arriving every day from Ireland, from United States, uh, from UK, many people from UK are coming here now at the moment. So mostly so, they use in Kiev, and they in the, most of them so they, they are arriving in Kiev. They are arriving in Odessa. Uh, I have reports of people that come to all the main cities, even to Lviv. And they usually make tests, or how they deal with it? No, no, no. They 
that, that is the interesting thing is that the, the law was made exactly for Ukrainians, okay? So, for example, uh, this is some tricks that I learned with the experience of the clients. The law says that if you do not have a COVID-19 test, or, I'm sorry, if you don't have a, an insurance for COVID-19, you cannot enter the country. The law says this explicitly, okay? But if you don't have a smartphone, the law doesn't say that. It's like nobody is obliged to have a smartphone. Okay, mm -hmm. so I have examples of clients that arrived one in Odessa and said, I don't have a smartphone. I have this Nokia. Uh, don't, they, the, don't they provide smartphones yet at the yeah. airport? <laughs> well, that would be nice. We would have all the Ukrainian girls in the airport <laughs> <laughs> waiting for the iPhone 10. <laughs> No, uh, I, I, want I, to give you, I don't want to give this as a rule, sorry. I may I interrupt you because Please. people are raising comments and uh, if you don't mind, let's answer and uh, then we will move. Okay. okay. Uh, uh, for, if you uh, are flying to Odessa, like, is it possible to test and give fly to Odessa and guarantee there? They only make the tests to passengers that land in Kiev. Yeah. So a person asks, uh, Eric asks uh, if you can make tests in Kiev and then go to Odessa. Is it okay? Yes, uh, but the question is if it's a, a connection and he has time, yes, he can do it. Mm -hmm. But at any rate, no, not in time for airplanes and uh, buses and cars, five hours between our cities, Odessa and Kiev. Not so yeah, many. It depends because I know beforehand that. People, for example, is cheaper to buy a flight U.S. to Odessa than fly uh, U.S. to Kiev. Mm. But the question is, nobody flies almost directly to Odessa. Most of the planes of Ukrainian airlines stop in Kiev and then go to Odessa. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and people stay two or three or four hours or more waiting in Boryspol to catch the connection to go to Odessa. Mm -hmm. So if this happens, they can go out and make the test and then check in again. Uh -huh. Thank you. Alexander, more, more comments? Let me read them. Uh, Solomon writes, I have only heard of one American who has uh, made it to Ukraine. No idea what it is like for people like myself coming from the UK. Do you know something about people from UK, how they I come? People from UK that arrived here already. The same way? Same way. Told? Same way. Mm -hmm. I heard that news about Trinconep. It's one of the only places that they let you go from the airport to the hotel once you arrive. Mm -hmm. And I had a friend to go from the UK to Romania and they did their own COVID test. It cost them 75 pounds, 82 euros. The tests are only valid if they are made in Ukraine. Mm -hmm. I know clients that already made three and four tests. But the tests made abroad are not valid here. Mm -hmm. I see. And uh, Eric answered us. Oh, thank you. So, uh, Alex, we can continue if you have more information to share. There are some, uh, I was uh, explaining the flaws on the law because, <laughs> as I was saying, you cannot prevent the person to enter the country because the person doesn't have a phone. That mm -hmm. is a kind of a hot potato that they have to solve. So the police at the border control, they are being very helpful. And I can tell you the case of Odessa, mm -hmm. that he did have a phone. They asked, do you have the insurance? Yes, I have the insurance. Do you have an address where you go? I have the address of my girlfriend. I come here often for her. Do you have a phone number? I have her phone number. It's okay. Have a nice stay. He went out the airport without the app without a smartphone. Uh -huh. I already heard at least four cases of American people that arrive in Kiev. They have no app. And at the moment, they run out of SIM cards. So uh, the police cannot give the SIM cards because they don't have them. So <laughs> one of these assistance officers at the airport pick up the phone of the client. Uh -huh. put the SIM card of the police guy on the phone, on the traveler's phone, uh -huh. download the app, 
made the picture and said, show the picture to my colleague at the stamps on the passport. <laughs> and when he went there, he gave the insurance that I made to him. He, he gave the passport and showed the picture. See, you are showing me this is a picture. What are you doing? No, your colleague told me to show you. The, which call? That one there. Oh, start that Ukrainian conversation. And then come the boss and look. Pa, 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 pa. Let you go. <laughs> and they went. And the app was not activated. And they didn't activate the app. And everything was okay. There's only one thing that, please don't assume this as a rule, okay? These are exceptions to the rule mm -hmm. that they facilitate, but let's not provoke them, okay? Mm -hmm. There's uh, another example uh, related to that. For example, um, now I lost my line of thoughts what I was going to say about Let's answer the question. Uh, I know. If there's questions, put me questions because I don't read the questions. I'm focused on explaining. Um, so I showed. Ah, does the law require me to another test when I leave Ukraine? No. Nobody is required to make a test. I was exactly going to touch that. I only have one client that have a problem when he goes back home. He arrived and he didn't uh, put the app to run. Mm. Nobody cares, you know. The problem is to pass or not to pass with the app uh, activated. Uh, activated, nobody pass with their activated. But there's also who pass. I will explain that after. So he passed and uh, didn't activate. By the way, he also gave him one address and then he arrived at the apartment that he rent. And suddenly the apartment was not in conditions. Those blah, blah, blah stories that we will know. And the guy finished to go live on another place that was not the address that he gave. But the problem was that he came only for seven days. So they let him pass, coming for seven days, because they see the uh, flyback. But they let him pass. When he went back, they create him a problem, and they find him. They find him because not he didn't have the app, because the police let him pass without the app working. But because he was going back before finished the 14 days of self-isolation, they, uh, they said to him that you didn't respect the 14 days. So after two hours of conversation, this client is from France. They gave him a fine that they didn't write the price. But I can tell you that the price is 17,000 grivnas for the first time something about $630, fine, for the first time. The second goes to 54,000 grievance, so it's a bit crazy. But only one I know that got the fine, though he's not decided the price. So he will have to come back to Borispol court for the decision. I spoke with my lawyer. I'm going to publish replies to law things, lawful questions because I send a bunch of questions to my lawyer exactly for this case. So what happened is, is, will he be able to come back again? Well, he may fail to appear in court. He will be judged anyway. He may ask to give power of attorney to a lawyer to go on his behalf or not. He will be judged anyway. They will send the fine to France for him to pay. If he will not pay, I still don't know if he will go to the registrations and next time he come, he may have there a cross and they may not let him pass or not. Mm. To take the money from him, if he doesn't have income in Ukraine, if he doesn't have access in Ukraine, is an impossible mission. It will never happen. Okay? So this is what is the main situation of coming from a red country and leave before the 14 days. You may escape with the app, we may escape without the phone. But if you came from a red country and then you go back before the 14 days, then we may have a situation when we are going back. Mm -hmm. So Solomon uh, asks, uh, maybe you don't use uh, Alex. He asks, um, I heard uh, that certain parts of Ukraine are going back into parenting. Is it true? 
I, I, I already <laughs> got tired and I don't uh, look after this news already. And what, what about the, the quarantine decision or the easing the quarantine? The government decided to put that at the criterion of the governors of the district. So at the moment, we have um, six of them that uh, went uh, a little bit for more restrict rules. But there are there is no restrict closed that nobody can go there. Okay. For example, I was two days ago. Lviv have twice the cases as Kiev. Mm -hmm. Kiev have much more people. Still, people are flying to Lviv and going there and back. You know, I just no, it seems to me that uh, with the time people get accustomed to this virus and just don't pay attention to it because it's so long story already and uh, everyone is tired. Uh, it's a joke, you know. This uh, I don't say that the COVID doesn't exist. Of course, it is, exists. If we are talking about flus and okay, that is another conversation. I don't want to go there. But Ukrainian people uh, are very difficult to stay home and they cannot keep them home. And they people keep on dying at the same level they were dying years before. You know, anyone can take the conclusions they want, but uh, I tell you that if they would make this COVID-19 test last year, I I have doubts if the results would be different. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that says a lot. Uh, actually, I have the same opinion. Uh, you, uh, so one more question: Are Ukrainian uh, hotels allowing people to do self-isolation for 14 days? Yes, most of my clients go to hotels as well, and they even don't know the room number, and the, the insurance policy will be the address of the hotel, that's all. Mm -hmm. I see. Okay, um, uh, our dear guests, do, do you have uh, some more questions or comments? Because I see uh, that uh, we are watched by, by more people than asking us. So, Alex, uh, maybe you can add some information to this topic. There are a trick that I can share with your, your audience that is another um, lack on the app situation. Mm -hmm. But this normally happens with those that have temporary residence in Ukraine or people that come here very often and they have the SIM card Ukrainian SIM card with them. Mm -hmm. Several cases happen that back there in the United States or in Brazil, or because I even have Americans that came from Brazil, but they, some of them are here all the time, more or less. So they have a SIM card from Ukraine. What mm -hmm. happened is they download the app still being abroad and they activated the app being there. So when they arrive in Ukraine, next day the app was asking, is missing seven days to finish your self-isolation. Mm -hmm. So to say that the app start counting since the day that they activated and they were a week abroad and the app was already counting. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course, in the airport control, they just want to see the app is there. They are not going to see nothing else. No. <laughs> So when he arrived to Kharkov, he lives in Kharkov, the app already was saying he was missing seven days on his first day in Ukraine. So this explains the, the, the problem that is the app because there are many leaks on there. The app doesn't work 100%. Mm -hmm. So Alex, do ask us, how do you think travel will be easier in a month or two? What do you it think? It depends where the person is coming. Honestly speaking, 80% of my clients are American. By experience, I understand that the later, the worse it will get, not to arrive here, but to get out from there. Mm. Because though a couple of companies started to say they are going to fool the planes and come, American Airlines and others like that, is not happening. I have people with three, four times the flights canceled. Mm -hmm. I am kind of advising some of my friends is not something I can assume, but it's something that I understand by experience. Uh, Turkish Airlines, they have a very good relationship with Ukraine. They are mm -hmm. expecting for this month of June 100,000 tourists from Ukraine. They are making wonderful prices because they are 
in panic with the tourism and they live with our tourism from Ukraine a lot. So they have nice flights. They come from Miami, they come from New York. And they also make free tests COVID-19 to anyone that is in transit or anyone that is coming to Ukraine. But I'm saying this, but note is not valid here. It's just a question of release if you have any concern in your subconscious about that. So there are a couple of companies that are more guaranteed to reach here than others. But as I said at the beginning of our conversation, it's like the main problem that all the travels face is to find a company that will not cancel the flights. Mm -hmm. I see. Okay, let's you here. Uh -huh. uh, Solomon asks, what is the status on, on the Ukraine health system at the moment? Have they been able to deal to handle the number of, the number of infected? Do you know? Yes, the, the, there are no full hospitals. Mm -hmm. The people that I was saying before, those that die, we do not know exactly if it has to be with COVID-19 or not. Thank God that Ukraine is not following other countries on the idea that the guy fell down the window and he died with COVID-19. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> because it happens. So the, the national health system is very not reasonable, let's say so. I don't want to speak bad about the country where I live. But if you need something, you better go to a private clinic. The insurance do not cover private clinics. Okay, and the private clinics are not allowed to take care about COVID-19 cases. Mm -hmm. So be sure that you are healthy. Don't fall here being with a positive test because you, you will regret to go to a state hospital for 14 days. Even okay. if it's on, only symptomatic case, but if it gives positive, they don't let people go anywhere and they will go to these state clinics. Mm -hmm. so, so if you want to make a test home it's a good idea just to be sure you will not have a surprise here mm -hmm. one more question from solomon in the uk people must now wear wear masks where when we go shopping is there anything similar in ukraine well yeah. people in ukraine are using the mask on the neck <laughs> <laughs> others have the mask hanging on the ear Mm -hmm. uh, we look through the window, we go outside. It's maybe 10% of people you can see using the mask on the street. But it's the same thing. If you enter a bank, you mm -hmm. need to put it. Not all the banks. <laughs> if you go to supermarkets, definitely. In the restaurants, they are full of people eating and drinking, and only the uh, employers are using the mask. Okay? Mm -hmm. Because Even the law says so. I was surprised on the beach, uh, waiters have to wear masks it's uh, torture I think. yeah the the beach especially in your city they are like a car uh, a can of sardines everybody so the beach uh, only the employers use the mask you know yeah, it's, it's ridiculous true. but uh, yeah. that's the law mm -hmm. because the police can appear and find the establishment if the employers are not using the mask uh, so um, what the things that you close in ukraine or is everything already open again I, I tell you, is everything open? Because even the movie theaters are open. Till 50% of occupation, even the movie theaters are working. Museums are working since long. Malls are open. You need to use masks inside the mall. Restaurants, you don't need to use and They are full of people, beach clubs everywhere. Buzzes, people need to use the mask. Need to use the mask. Okay. If you remember, kids will go to school, then mothers will spend medicine for them <laughs> for, oh. for COVID. <laughs> well, for now is not working <laughs> so it's like and you you notice that you are the, the COVID is kind of getting people are forgetting it because only when you need to enter somewhere and you see someone with a mask oh i have to put the mask mm -hmm. yeah. people have the same mask in the pocket for weeks <laughs> So, not to speak how effective the mask is in reality or not, but once yeah. again, it's another conversation. Uh, so, uh, I have some uh, more information to add because we need to finish soon, and uh, maybe you have. Uh, some if there's anyone that have any questions, so 
I can make a resume of the things. Mm -hmm. No fears to come here. No problem to come here besides having suitable flights to arrive. Be sure that you have the insurance because insurance is really is a, a, a deal breaker. Uh, you may escape with the app or not. Uh, if you don't, I don't know what will happen, for example, and I'm saying nothing. If my phone dies during the flights and I arrive the passport control without battery, I wonder what is going to happen. But one thing I know for sure, they cannot detain me because I don't have a phone working. The law does not allow that to happen. Only the insurance, yes. So reaching the airport, you can go, if it's Kiev, you can go make the test and go to your destination. In one day, you are free. If you don't do it, go to any city where you have to go. If you want to go by the book and you want to put the app to work, put it to work, go make a test, wait three days for the result. In another two days, so maybe five days total, you are free from the app and you are free to go wherever you want. There are several options, but none of them will make you not to come to Ukraine. Or I mean, cross the border, unless you give positive on the test on the airport. Mm -hmm. They and, uh, only measure temperature to people on the plane. If you have a little bit of temperature, then you go to make the test immediately. If you don't want to go make the test, you don't need to go make the test. Mm -hmm. And um, John told John Weber, he's from the US. Thanks, powerful interest want this virus to continue. In the US, half of the, the, the people are sick and scared, and half are tired of all this. Here, it, it seems to me in Ukraine, all people just uh, don't pay attention to virus anymore. <laughs> we just hope for better. Yeah? What do you think? I'm trying to read what uh, John wrote. So thanks, powerful interests want this virus to continue. Yes, that is another fight. <laughs> uh, in the US, half of the people are scared and half are tired of all this. Well, the United States really is another conversation that would take another hour. Uh, just look to New York and uh, how ridiculous it is. I only say something. The more tests you do, the more cases you will have. If that means more people will die, definitely not. So there's a big mani political manipulation of, of the, the things. As I was saying before, I follow this because 80% of my clients are Americans. And really, it, some of the things are really ridiculous. So it, it's losing control, it's lo losing decency, and uh, it becomes even shameless. So Alex, maybe we should uh, switch to um, making tests and masks. <laughs> <laughs> at the same time <laughs> from matchmaking no no honestly this this uh, insurance are taking me a lot of time and uh, I, I made a video the other day i need to sell at least 400 insurance to make the money of one client <laughs> for, <laughs> for matchmaking so but honestly i i started this to help my clients to come and it becomes like boom and uh, I made a wonderful group on Facebook and Facebook yesterday closed me down because really? maybe somebody said that I'm not on the policies. So I already told them to try to investigate the case. So I have the group on Facebook under revision, but I already put my blog to work and I don't trust Facebook because Facebook put your business up today and destroy you next day. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, Alex and also Eric uh, asks, uh, could you link uh, the insurance information in the comments on the video? Can you give me a link to your insurance uh, services and I will put it under the video? Well, I already sold. I don't have a link because you cannot do it online. I made myself official insurance broker. So I am legally represented of a company here in Kiev. So mm -hmm. everybody that needs to have an insurance or contact me on Facebook or send me an email. I will send a form saying what is needed. I will need a scan of the passport. I will need the address where you go and the phone number. These are obligatory. Uh, what we should do in the comments, maybe your Facebook, how you to find you on Facebook or your email, what do you recommend? So that my, people my get Facebook, it. My Facebook, anyone goes to find Alex Pint on Facebook, it will find me for sure. Very mm -hmm. easy. Friend of the friend. So, I made for our colleagues, clients, 
they asked me, I already made insurance to, we are ethical, good friends and good colleagues. So if you have clients of yours that you need to help them, you can just send me their information. You mm -hmm. even don't need to send me the email of your client. You can re collect what you need, send to me the passport and address where it goes, and I will send back the electronic policy of the insurance and you send to me. So it's, it's mm -hmm. just a, a parallel situation for us to have people coming the more possible because we matchmakers live with people that come here, know that people that is online talking to the pictures. So mm -hmm. we need to make people come and help them to come. So that's why I'm doing this. We uh, actually we included now uh, Skype um, Skype dating for our clients, but of course you uh, nothing can uh, replace personal contact. Unfortunately. No. Yes, I would create that, but uh, then becomes to us a very difficult situation that is the expectation and anxiety management. I have clients that they start to talk six months ago, they would meet face to face in two or three months. Now they go in half a year having these video conversations that they start, to, the curve starts to go down. You know, it's like chemistry doesn't come up, it's very difficult to sustain. A relationship that is not even a relationship is a promising project of relationship because it's all online so people still don't know and then they start to lose the mood and then they start to discredit yeah, is it so because without being together it's very difficult to say i have a girlfriend you know yeah and that's what i explained to my clients too that uh, we make uh, online dates, dates but then he should try to come as soon as possible because i also noticed that for example, when people always met and they have, have interest to each other, they can correspond actively, drive with enough of emotions. But when the other situation happens, at first they meet on, online and they start corresponding then. Uh, sometimes girls are not, um, <laughs> don't like the idea of long correspondences for, for long days because they want real relationships. And for this, they need to see each other, to touch each other. And uh, we are still not um, internet people. We still need to personal contact and alive people next to us. There are no online relationships, you know. <laughs> there Just are, uh, internet is a good tool to find someone, is a good tool to come to the Skype and speak and understand that the person looks like on the picture and we see the body language that helps a lot, but there's no chemistry there. There's mm -hmm. just a confirmation of attraction and that the things are worthy to go to the country and meet that person. Mm -hmm. So this is not a relationship, it's a, a tool to guarantee people that they come with a 50-50 chance that they will succeed because they will come to meet people they are talking like we are talking now. Mm -hmm. To talk there on the other sides is very complicated because you never know with whom you are talking. Uh, Dio also told that, um, sorry guys, I came late, but uh, Dio, you can uh, look at this live stream later on the channel and you don't miss anything. So you can ask your questions if you want now. We are finishing almost, but you can ask a few questions. Yes, Alex, you have a little bit time. Me? Yes. Uh, Salapun writes, I hope the curve do goes down by next year enough for safe travel everywhere. Well, that is the mystery if, the, if it goes down or doesn't go down, because I one thing I know for sure, in the United States will go down after the elections, never before. So <laughs> until the elections, it's going to get worse and God knows what is going to happen after. So immigration is also another problem that is going on. All the visas are canceled till the end of the year. K-119 is not canceled. People can keep and I remember to talk this with you because I have to be with our work. So anyone that wants to apply for a K-1 visa, fiancé visa, can do it. There's, it doesn't make part of the ban from Trump, okay? It's just that many embassies are closed, so this delayed the process of interviewing the women. Mm -hmm. But anyone can go apply at the moment for K-1 visa and show to the fiancé, I have those cases. My dear, I don't go there for four months, but I'm taking care about your visa for you to come as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. So it's possible. 
But I, I have a feeling that we should uh, just adapt to, to life with this virus because it seems to me it's uh, for a long time actually and we just need to adapt and how to learn how to deal with it and how to travel with it because... If the adapt doesn't yeah. mean to cross the arms, I agree with you because if you cross the arms and say, oh, what we are going to do now, we are not going to go anywhere. And uh, I don't believe that people will stop to want to meet each other, right? Because some people want, they wait for the situation to come back as it was before, but it seems to me um, it uh, it won't return to the same situation as we had before for much time. Uh, so you, you see, 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 people have, can, can travel now, but with some restrictions, with some uh, rules. But um, I don't know when we will return to the same life as we had before. I'm the not normal sure. return to normal will not be this year. But, yeah. Uh, I, on my opinion, I don't want to force myself to accept another normal or a new normal because uh, normal is, is only one, so there's no new normal. There are, we can adapt to new situations, but we can never stop to try to find the solve them the best way for us and for those that we want to be with us. So mm -hmm. I incentivate people to try because see this way from the women's side, I see that when he's not coming because he doesn't find the flight or they cancel the flight and then she goes to the internet and see that tens of the others arrive, it's like if the other ones can come, why you cannot? Mm -hmm. And this starts to go against the, the relationship and this starts to go against the men. It's like if the other men come, why you don't come? Why you always put problems to come? I have these problems to manage with my clients, you know. Or he wants to come and really is failing, or he is afraid to come, and she starts to see that he's not very committed because he's not making his best to come. And then, of course, time and distance do not help to make nothing stronger. And then some of these relationships will not reach to happen or will not last if mm -hmm. we don't do something to show that we are trying all we can. Again, I, I think the situation uh, shows. Um the personality part of personality of a man because uh, our women i tell it in many videos that our women expect men to be initiative strong um goal oriented and uh, this is one more obstacle to, to overcome this COVID situation and still come to ukraine but i have one of my recent clients he already wrote that he found a way and he's coming in august so very persistent and uh, a man who yeah, i told you i have a guy that he, he got six flights to arrive here he reached to have two days of layovers. Mm -hmm. He got out from the States and he bumped in Netherlands and then he bumped on Germany and he always found the way to catch the flight to come. Yeah. And Dio asked uh, just a general question. Is this open for business? If you mean uh, every, if everything is working here, uh, Alex also just told that uh, almost everything is working here, even uh, cinema. So. I Just see here a question about that. Uh, is it easier for Ukrainians to get visa to the UK? No, unfortunately, no. It's one of the worst countries to find a visa to go to UK. Even with the invitation letter, it's complicated. UK is complicated. Especially mm -hmm. now, it's impossible. I was trying to get UK visa and to visit IDATE conference last year. But I was told by um, visa consultants I shouldn't apply because uh, not enough requirements I meet. So and uh, most probably I will get refused. So I, I also understood it's tricky thing. Yeah, fly fly to the United States. United States is not the worst. Australia and Canada are much more difficult than United States. But still, you the United States is there on the top of the three ones and then uk is around there all mm. the time okay dears uh, thank you for uh, visiting our live stream today ask your questions if you have more about insurance and all these tricks alex knows everything i trust him to the fullest and um, actually i am more busy with matchmaking coaching and so on now but i trust uh, to alex fully about all these um, a lot of things with insurance coming here and you can write him 
uh, or you can write me and I will call you him if necessary. Yeah, Alex, I hope you will help me and my clients. I, I'm here for 15 years and I remember when you start the matchmaking and we have all these conversations and you always very aggressive to reach what you want and you are, you are making a good job. <laughs> Thank you, Alex. You're my teacher. I remember. I, I, I was your mentor during a couple of years and now you are doing well. Congratulations. Uh, talk, um, and uh, uh, Dio or Road, also please don't forget to post Alex Facebook. Okay, I, I, will, I will copy your Facebook if you don't mind, Alex. No, and please uh, copy the link and send to people. Yeah. There's no problem. Okay, it will be left in the comments. Uh, I hope you don't mind. Sorry? Uh, this link will be left as the comments under the video later. You don't okay. mind. I have a thousand and something. I know almost everybody. I don't collect uh, people there. The, I go see the who is asking to be friends. If I see those profiles with nothing empty, normally I don't accept. So if uh, any of those that are listening to us have one of those completely closed profiles that we don't see, be so kind, write me. I go see the other requests on Messenger all the time. So give me a sign that you are from here. Otherwise, uh, I select my friends because I don't collect numbers. And this is my private Facebook, where is my family, my friends, my clients, everybody. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Alex, a lot for sharing this information because it was actually very new for me. And um, you see that uh, people have many questions and, questions and I hoped it helped. And now, dear uh, man, you will come to us soon. And uh, however, in difficulties, of course, we have them, but uh, let's wait, uh, to arrange your love life how to say it and please come to ukraine you know, beautiful sweetheart and develop your relationship because our ladies are like flowers if we don't water the flower the flower dies i think it is there for every woman and yes, we need, of course it is. We need personal meetings we can't uh, live online and we can't make uh, children online to get. <laughs> so <laughs> you need to come <laughs> So um, have a nice evening, everyone, and um, write us if necessary, if you have questions. Bye-bye. Okay. Hope I help everybody. Thank you.